Okay, so what we're going to be reading today is the Skill Revamps Part 3. This week we're going to look at some of the changes to both skills that we've been working on. We're going to look at a major rework to Reign of Arrows and its Vol version as well as what we're doing to close the gap between Barrage and Blast Rain. <laughs> okay, that's... it. Blast Rain? Barrage? We want the skill Rain of Arrows. We want the skill to be more powerful at higher levels. Its area of effect performance performed well at lower levels, but once players had access to pierce and additional projectiles, other bow skills could cover a much larger area. We couldn't just increase its size as it would have to be absolutely massive to compete with projectile skills. Sure. A reworked version Rain of Arrows that rains down arrows that each deal area damage where they land and they land over a much larger area than the original rain of arrows okay that yeah fuck <laughs> that seems pretty juicy we've tried a number of ways to distribute the arrows eventually it came to our current version half of the arrows will drop randomly while the other half will drop on targets over the area wow It picks targets in a series of rings spreading out from the target's location, making the target spread very even. Take a look at the screenshot for an example of this. Wow, that sounds really powerful. Especially considering this AoE. Holy. Additional arrows add more arrows spread out over additional outer rings. Increasing the total spread of damage without impacting damage to individual targets. This is how it drops arrows when there are targets in its area. Wow. That looks really powerful. Like, really, really, really powerful. And I mean, the additional arrows is cool too, because they're essentially bringing back the old way you would scale Firestorm. Damn. Yeah, especially if it's going to be like a nice leveling skill, if they're not going to move it around. Looks fantastic, honestly. Skill would receive some additional effects to demonstrate the damage of the arrows. So little, those little circle poppy things. Damn, look how freaking crazy that is. Vol Reign of Arrows. Vol Reign of Arrows will receive the same change as Reign of Arrows above with some special additions. Special spice, dude. The skill will still will fire more arrows, meaning it will drop arrows over a larger area. The skill will also repeat its rain multiple times, providing powerful ongoing damage, controlling its area for an extend extended period. Wow. <laughs> Wait, but then, uh, let me just clarify. Additional arrows add more arrows spread out over additional outer rings. Oh, okay. So each arrow adds a ring, that's what it means. Alright, so it's not like Firestorm, sorry. I guess I got confused. I thought it would like increase the thing, but they clearly state that it's not for single target. Alright, so this didn't actually make sense. Uh, where did we finish off here? Extended period. Rather than pinning enemies in place, the skill will now perform powerful maim, slowing enemies' movement by 75%, having a slow effect rather than preventing movement makes monsters more likely to keep trying to run at you rather than just stopping and using any ranged attack immediately. This makes the skill much more practical as crowd control. Dude, it makes it practical as freaking covering the entire screen and an ability that one-shots everything. Holy, holy matter. I wonder if they're going to add any damage because as some of you guys might know, Reign of Arrows actually has ridiculously bad damage. It's only 129% of the base damage, which is reasonable for a bow skill, but if you were to think about its function, it's not that fantastic. But with this new mechanic, it's pretty good. Pretty freaking good, my dudes. Barrage. Okay, so the big one. The big, the big B. This skill currently is currently a cornerstone of the most powerful bow builds, granting unparalleled single target damage once players have found ways to give the skill additional projectiles. 
Additional projectiles provide too great a damage increase as the skill gains 25% more damage for each extra projectile. We don't want to simply reduce the damage of the skill as this makes the skill much less useful before players have access to additional projectiles. Hmm, interesting because actually Barrage, the way it used to work was uh, each additional arrow would also extend the animation and that doesn't work like that anymore. It hasn't worked like that for a very long time, which obviously is something that they went back on because, yeah, I mean, shit, apparently it got pretty out of hand. We're currently trying out a version of the skill that has a base of five projectiles per barrage rather than four and reducing the damage to compensate. This will mean that a player will gain 20% more damage for each additional projectile. Uh, that's really insignificant. <laughs> Long term, we want to provide alternatives to barrage that can compete with it, but its ability to scale with additional projectiles is so extreme that we have to reduce its damage per additional projectile to give other skills a chance. This will give us the opportunity to provide more general power for both skills. Yeah, that really doesn't do a whole lot. <laughs> I think uh, probably they should just make it so that additional just they should just revert that chain so that additional arrows extend the animation of it and therefore still provide a damage bonus but also lock you into place which I understand doesn't feel that great because it uh, messes over your other abilities but hey if you want a powerful single target with a powerful bow AoE Maybe it's a little bit justified considering how strong bows are right now. Blast Rain was previously one of the more popular abilities for high level single target damage and we wanted to recover some of that strength. It never was that. <laughs> GGG. It's just that people sucked at the game I suppose. I'm not sure. Hey, thanks for the bits. The skill will now convert 100% of physical damage to fire. 100% convert by the way. Ranged. Ranger characters don't have an easy don't have easy access to give a skill full conversion to fire. So we've built this into the skill to let you take full advantage of elemental interactions. Right. You want us to play a trickster, I see, I see. The skill will now penetrate 25% fire resistance by gem level 20. Want to boost the damage? by about 25%, so we've done so in a way that will make it much more effective against resistant targets. Huh. Okay. Hmm. Blast Rain finally has more damage than Burning Arrow. That's great to hear. We're looking at more extremely extreme mechanic changes to Blast Rain and other single target bow skills, as well as considering Blast Rain's interaction with additional arrows. We'll keep iterating on these skills leading up to 3.3. We'll provide more information as we keep iterating on these changes in the weeks to come, as well as talking about some of the other skill changes we'll be making. Nothing is set in stone, so thoughts and feedback are welcome. Hmm. Yeah, I think the barrage change is a step in the right direction. I think the blast rain will be insignificant unless they actually change the mechanic. I mean, I can see it being like a proper shaper killer. I can't see it making more damage than barrage still unless they change it past what they have mentioned here because they are talking about like extra arrows with blast rain and whatnot and that obviously might be a new correction that will get out of hand unfortunately in the case of blast rain it is just a little bit too slow an ability to be considered uh not uh, just consistent it's, it's a little bit inconsistent unless this target is just very much Static, but hey, maybe you can use it with a rain of arrows to slow the mob <laughs> well enough so you can blast rain his ass. I don't know. The Vol Rain of Arrows looks really powerful. I mean, we'll see if they change the soul cost. If they don't, then I think it'll be a very powerful skill. And I, I really approve of the Rain of Arrows change. It's really fun to see uh, AoE abilities. AoE bow abilities doing well. Again, like Rain of Arrows, 
and like Lightning Arrow, which has been doing really well, considering that I haven't been playing it recently. Um, and that's 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 really cool. It might get a little bit out of hand though. It does seem like it might be a little bit, uh, a little bit, uh, maybe a little bit strong. You know, looking at this, a little bit strong. Extra arrows adds extra outer layers. Uh, a little bit strong. Um, we shall see. But yeah, again, steps in the right direction. Very much approve of these. And it looks cool too. Sheet. Chin Soul. Deadeye plus Assassin Blast Rain. Yeah, the only thing that I guess I'm a little bit worried is that Reign of Arrows might be like locked strictly to Deadeye. Which in a way limits it, but in the other way doesn't really, because who cares, right? Swing so the only single target attack skill for Wander. Oh yeah, that's an interesting thought. Whether or not Barrage will actually still remain powerful enough to be used as a single target for a Wander, I think yes. I think uh, Wander's are the most powerful thing for mapping currently in the game. So reducing its power by, by that tiny little bit by limiting the one thing that they don't absolutely excel at compared to everything else in the game is, in my eyes, a benefit, you know? Mm -mm -mm. Especially since you don't really get that many extra projectiles on a Wander. Like, you get them, but you don't get as many as you would on a bow, right? Yeah, and I mean, many people, depending on the layout that you're running, you still might just want to use Kinetic Blast as your single target, so... It's no nerf for my build, but many people that run a, uh... Duelist setup, uh... Where they travel to the Duelist, you know, they will run, like, a 4-5 link, uh... Kinetic Blast, because you just get enough damage, and then they'll 5-6 link their Barrage. Power Siphon buff, please. I mean, I'm sure they're going to go over it at some point. I'm sure one of these things will be the identity of uh, Wanders. Will be addressed in one way or another in one of these posts. I would say the only, the only abilities currently in the game that are like truly underpowered as a whole uh, will be self-casters. Totems are fantastic. Bows are fantastic. Certain trap setups are fun are good, but they're limited in ways that GGG seems to be addressing in the next patch. Uh, yeah, but bows are great. I don't know if I mentioned bows. Melee's great. Wanders are uncomparable with anything else. Summoners are fucking really in a great spot, even though SRS is dead in my eyes. It's not dead, it's still okay, but it's like bad compared to everything else. Yeah, there's no self-casters, man. I mean, you can play certain like self-cast builds that work well with enough investment, like, uh, I don't know. Bull lightnings and fireballs and glacial cascades, I guess, and uh, molten ball sacks. But uh, it's pretty apparent that there is an issue there. Right? Indigon, yeah, but it, the problem is Indigon benefits uh, trigger abilities like a lot more than it does self casters, right?